Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to put those wheels onto this tank and we're going to put this handle on it hopefully and uh, this thing should be pretty close to being done. Hang tight. Okay guys, first thing we got to do is pull this off. Now usually I just snap them off, cut them off or whatever, but I don't have any of these. So we're going to just try to try to finagle it off of here so we can reuse it. I need really need to keep some of these. I don't use them a lot, but a couple times a year probably. I hope that axle's not welded in there. If it is, we'll have to use bolts like they like they do on lawnmowers. We've got it moving. There it goes. Alright. So now, we got to check see if this axle's welding on. And if it is, then we'll have to, uh, yeah, it feels like it is. Alright. So let me check this out. Let me get this stuff put away so I don't lose it up here. Um, yeah, it feels like it's welded around there. Alright, let me check this out, and we'll go to plan B. Okay, it looks like there's a little weld here, and a little, little weld there. So I'm going to put you on a tripod, I'm going to grab my grinder, and uh, we'll grind that off there. I'll speed it up for you, so that way you don't have to hear the grinder grinding. Okay, so these holes are just a touch too small. So, I was prepared for that. I got my step bit out. So, let's get this plugged in. And... Take it up one step and then try the axle. That should do it. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see because I can't see the camera. seems to be a little long so I'm gonna to have to make some shims to go in here I'm still gonna to have to probably cut some of it off but we'll make like a like a bushing out of some tube or something and then uh, and then we'll put it on here so the wheels don't hit the tank Then we'll go from there, hang tight. 
Okay, so this is what I done. I drilled out a couple lug nuts. Put them on there. We're gonna put our tire on. Or wheel, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see, that's that'll probably be about right. Let me grab some grease and we'll put a little grease on that axle. Yeah. Squeaky wheel gets grease, right? Duh. Gotta be down here. Alright. So I'll spin it. Alright, I think. I don't think I'm going to cut any of this off. No, I'm not. Let's go ahead and let's tap that on there. That's about what it was like on the other one. I think that'll be all right. Let's see? Uh, I'll have to make a little stand for the front. Okay, that's going to be good. Now, we're going to put this on the handle up here oh, excuse me. I think I'll do it just like I did the motor and the pump drill a couple holes tap them and I think we'll be fine there uh, this is what we're looking at here hope you are right there just like that punch a couple holes through there tap them out because they're the same size bolts that uh, the motor and the pump took so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna clean this off a little bit first with the wire wheel and then we'll get to it when wheels on um, not today but in the next episode of working on this thing we'll build a couple feet that's how high it's got to be uh, I did get the belt straightened out on this thing you look down through there I can hold you straight so uh, I did find that little uh, metal piece that went inside there for the check valve I'm sure it's still gonna leak here but let's just give it a try and make sure everything's still working okay here we go i forgot i had the pitcock up front open because i drained water out so let's do this again man that thing is quiet isn't it that belt seems to be running pretty true yeah it's straight oh yeah yeah it's straight a certain angle there we go all right building up pressure yeah building up some that's almost 40 like i said i still think this is going to leak here because it has a ferrule in it and i think the ferrule's leaking uh, but right now we're just checking it out, make sure everything's going to be okay. The other, the other gauge is up to 25. We got 40 in the tank, so let's let it run a minute, see what happens. All right, this thing should kick off around 100. Getting pretty close. I just can't get over. 
how quiet that thing is, man. Oh, and that's not leaking either, so... What this does, this little box over here, it shuts off the uh, air compressor at a certain pound, however you have it set. There's, there it is. There's a little adjustment in there. Now over here, that is a pop-off valve in case the other, the shutoff quits working. After this gets up to a certain amount, it pops off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that off. Well, I'll let it pop off until, and let's see if it kicks on like it should. There it is. All right. Let's let it run up and shut off one more time. All right, there we go. Right, right at exactly a hundred pounds. So I adjusted that pretty good. Um, I'll show you. And it's not leaking here, so... Yeah, I did find that little washer. Right there, that little... There's a little nut. You turn it out, and it sets the pressure down. You turn it up, sets the pressure up higher. But you're only going to go so so high, so whatever your pop-off valve is, is set at. Now, I know... When I had this hooked up to the big tank, um, it was, uh, I'd bring them both, well, it was both reading 140 PSI, and the pop-off valve never popped off, so I'm not sure what, what it is, uh, so, you know, I didn't put it in, I didn't buy it, so I don't know, but, anyway, there it is, that's, that's pretty good, I put a, put a little blow gun on here. So, yeah, that's that's a nice little, had some sweat on the screen. That's a nice little uh, air compressor there. Okay, guys, so there you go. That part of it's, it's I mean, it's done. It's, it's a working, it's a working piece of equipment. It works as it's supposed to. It ain't the prettiest, but uh, I'm not going to paint it. If he wants to paint it, if he gets it, he wants to paint it, he can paint it. If you don't want it, then I'll just keep it. Uh, Monkey didn't want me getting rid of this one anyway. It's the first one we bought. We bought it at a yard sale. And I've had it three years. So, uh, I just, I needed one real bad, you know. So, I just want to start getting my tool collection back up. So, yeah, we'll make a, the next one, we'll make a foot for it. And, uh, you know, a little stand to raise it up. And... You know, check it over again. Make sure everything's going to be all right on it. So hopefully you're enjoying these little these little videos of this thing, uh, putting this thing together, taking two, building one. That other tank over there. I think I'm going to build another little stove or a smoker. I might build a smoker out of it. Hmm. Let me know in the comments. You want to see me build a smoker out of it? You already see me build a uh the wood stove a burning wood burning stove um it's almost done i just got to put a handle on it um it's working good but let me know what you want me to do with that i, th I think i think we need a smoker what do you guys think all right guys thanks for watching don't forget to check out monkey 1000 channel she's awesome and again thanks for watching my videos and uh please make sure you comment rate subscribe share these videos and help me out a little would you Hey, thanks, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. I appreciate it. Stay tuned. Uh, maybe next week or the first of the week after next. Uh, I'm going to be doing another camera review. I think you guys will like this one. So, hang tight on that and keep your uh, notifications turned on so you'll know 
when I upload that video. Alright guys, again, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend, gone for now. Bye bye guys, take care. We have the wildlife here. <laughs> wildlife. Ooh. Ooh. Fight. Bird <laughs> fight. Yeah. Neither one of them are fighting over the death stuff. Oh look. Cher, be happy. Cher. <laughs> death birds. Yep, death birds. Oh, another fight. Yeah. I want it. No, I want it. There's a bunch of them there. Mm-hmm. wonder what happens if I walk up to them. They'll fly away. They might bite you. They ain't, ain't going to bite me. They ain't going to bite me. Watch, I'll fucking get bit. Ooh, there's a sneaky one up there. They're eating an armadillo. At least, at least get it out of the road. in the house. <laughs> I know one, jeez. We're not running like that no more, that hurt. Oh boy. Wildlife. That price includes scenery and wildlife fun. Oh come on, they have a pool and everything. What movies from what movie is that from? <laughs>